going on folks? We're going to do something a little interesting for you guys today. We're going to take an in-depth look at Ryu. And after you guys watch this video, you guys will probably be the best Ryu players uh, in the world, second to the guy standing next to me right now. Um, I brought in a specialist just for you guys. Uh, this man, if you guys aren't familiar with him by now, you should be. But this is Air. Air, tell us where you're from. Uh... So I'm born in Hong Kong, okay. and I moved to Canada when I was six. Okay. So I'm a Canadian, Chinese Canadian. You're Cana Chinese Canadian. Yeah. So a lot of people think I'm Japanese. I mm -hmm. actually lived there for almost two years. In Japan. Yes. Okay. Just to learn the Japanese cuisine. I'm actually a chef, a Japanese chef myself. I make sushi and <laughs> yeah, and um, I went there to go to school to learn okay. the language okay. in order to work at a restaurant. Nice. And that's yeah. So basically, you're like the closest thing to the real life for you. <laughs> you've, you've lived all over the place. You're studying the culture and everything yes. to be the best. Yes. No, not to be the best. Just my interest. Well, what are some of your favorite things to cook? To cook? A lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, let's say I'm, I'm good with sushi. Okay. Yeah, I make sushi. Uh, any, um, did you go to uh, just school for it? No, not like I went to culinary mm -hmm. school in mm -hmm. Canada, but that's oh, okay. for Western food. Because I've been working in Japanese re restaurants, right? I don't mm -hmm. want to like do that at work and school. Right. So I want to expand my knowledge in S school. So then, when do you have time for Street Fighter? So that's how I approach Street Fighter in okay. Japan. So I had no friends <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> I couldn't speak the language in right, the first right. few months, right? Okay. So that makes, yeah, obviously. I've been studying hard at home, but mm -hmm. I was pretty. Lonely, you okay. know, on weekends. So yeah. I was like, okay, I have to like hit up an arcade. Right. I was like, all right. So this is the game that everybody plays now. Yeah. I was like, okay, I have no friends, and this is like one on one. So mm -hmm. I have to play this. Right, right, right. But it was pretty frustrating in oh, the beginning because I, I never played Street Fighter. I played what, King of Fighters. That's just what I was about yeah, to ask. Yeah, yeah, I played King of Fighters. You started all with combos King of and all aggressiveness. Okay. And this is like everybody. I think the first matchup I played, well, I, I used Rude because I use all the. Main characters mm -hmm. in every game. Okay. So I picked. I just picked. I was like, "Fuck it." I'm pick it. Who did you use in King of Fighters? Uh, I used Kill okay. and Yori and like, all the all the main characters. So you don't bother wasting time at the character select screen. You look at the poster of the game, yes, see exactly. who's on it, and go straight yeah, to who, who, whoever is good looking. <laughs> Very good. I like that. I, I like that, that, that. And then I think the first match was Dalson. Oh. Also, like, wow, this game. Sucks. Yeah. Like I can't do anything because I just a lot of jump in. Yeah. And King of Fighters, and right. I can't do anything. Right, because you got beat from full screen. Exactly. So I was like, wow, I really hate this game. So I'm not gonna play anymore. Okay. But. And then, of course, I, I still did because right. I had no friends. And then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and one, I mean, there's several really good bison characters in my, where mm. I live, mm. in Yokohama. Okay. And then maybe people heard of him, Kuma. He was mm -hmm, yeah, one of the yeah. top bison player, and and he's been beating almost everybody. I was like, wow, maybe I should go with character instead right. of the right, right, right. Yeah. Then I chose bison, and I was like, wow, it's much easier. It's like all about like rushdown. I was like, oh, I like this character, right? And then one day, this Japanese player came up to me. His name is Mazu. He okay. came up to me. He's like. Oh, you don't use Rue anymore? I was like, no, I, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> and yeah, then, like I would, I just don't know yeah, what I'm doing. And then he, he was like, no, your Rue, it was good. I was mm. like, oh, really? Thank you. He's like, but now I use him. And he's like, oh, he's like, why don't you start a card? Like we have this ID card, so you mm. have your player name and collect the points. Yeah. And then I was like, I, I would, but I don't know how to access into it. Yeah. And then he. I was like, oh, I see. And then he, before he left the arcade, he bought me a card. I was like, here. This is amazing. This, this, this is the story. Yes, not this only, is how everything started. Yeah, not only your path to Ryu, but also your first friend in Japan. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> he was my first Japanese friend. Okay. And then he, well, with my broken Japanese, mm -hmm. somehow I could communicate with him. Very good. And then he gave me the card, and he was like, you asked this. I was like, I was like, wow, thank you. Like, yeah. For somebody you don't know, right? <laughs> yeah. And then... I went home, I tried to ask this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea how to do this. Right. It's all in Japanese. Yeah. And then the next day, I went back there and then, yeah, of course, he taught me how to mm -hmm. register for me. And I used to play a lot of online games and I used it. Right. Word, 
name Air. And okay. I just, uh, okay where, I'll just do where did the name Air come from? I don't know. I've been playing a lot of <laughs> online games when I was young with my brother, mm -hmm. and somehow I just used it. Well, you know A as in like the main character, like the first letter? Yeah. I was like, dude, something with A. I was like, Air. Okay, let's do this. That's how I did it. And... I love it. I'm sorry, no, keep going. I like it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, that's it. And then I start. No, I went back to Ryu because I don't even know who Daigo was. Right. I don't know anybody. Right. I was like, one one time, one day I saw Dan from Japan. Mm -hmm. who, the uh, he's he, he's Ryu player. Or... No, Ryu player. He's okay. uh, Daigo's homie. Okay. And then Daigo also used Ryu, and I was like, wow, these two guys like these two guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. They're using Ryu, which I think wasn't so good in right. that game. And they're just beating they were, everybody. They everybody. They're having right. like streaks. And I started going every day after school, after work. I would just stand behind them and watch. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this character interests me. And I want to try and pick it up again. And I started learning from them. Okay. And everything made more sense. I was like, right. oh, that's how you do it. You can't jump. Like this game, you can't jump. It's all about patience. Right, right, right. I still haven't learned that yet. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... Yeah, and then I start, and then my friend, the Mazo, the, mm -hmm. whoever bought me the card, mm -hmm. and we started playing our home, our card is home arcade, because right? yeah. I go there all the time, right. in Yokohama. And there's a lot of good players that are not known, mm -hmm. and that's where Tokido plays too. And then we started joining like local tournaments, mm -hmm. and that's how, how did you place at those? We, surprisingly, it's all teams, but we oh, okay. place pretty high, oh, that's and good. that's how I started liking joining. Yeah. Too. So now, what we're going to be able to bring to you guys out there is he is going to share some of his best secrets and his tips on how he took his skill from just being a guy who was thinking about dropping his main <laughs> character to go for the easier bison, and uh, he's going to share with you how to do it and how to stick with your character, stick with Ryu, um, for that matter, and get to a much better level than you're at probably right now. Do you have a game plan that you go into before, like a general one for every character, or does it alter between um, characters? For myself, mm -hmm. um, usually I have the same game plan. So usually I would throw, I'll probably stay full screen, I'll throw several fireballs just okay. to see how they react. So that's what you do. I was about to ask, like when you're throwing fireballs, you don't care necessarily about hitting them, it's more to see how they yes, react to exactly. it. For the first round. For the first round, okay. And I what, usually use my first round. And what, depending on how they react, how do you change your game plan? Oh, you can probably tell how they do. Okay. When you throw like full screen fireball, yeah. some people do focus. You can really tell that guy's really defensive or he's trying to like save up. Yeah, he's trying to build his meter up. Exactly. Okay. So and how does keep... how does that, does that threaten you at all? It doesn't threaten me. <laughs> Whenever you focus, you have to backdash, right? right? So I'll start pushing me in the corner. Okay. That's my game plan. I was can like, you, oh, okay. So once I... Okay, I was, can you put me in there? Yeah. So that's like the worst position for every okay. character. They don't want right. to be in the corner. So if we're fighting and you throw a fireball. Yeah. And I backdash. Let's keep going. He has a backdash. Here. Right. You're already like... I put right. back. And now, Here, I'm back. The, now I'm in the corner. Now you're in shit. Because you're sagging. <laughs> right. You have to be afraid of my jump in. Right. And you can't jump out. Right, because if I jump out, I have to take uppercut. <laughs> yeah, and you block it. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm just yeah. And okay. I just poke you like all day, and you know that distance perfectly. Yeah. Because you can't do back or knee here because yeah. my jab is gonna beat it. So yeah, I just get hit. All right, so. Now that, you know, everybody watching now, we've got our character, we got Ryu, we're ready to go. Okay. What should we be focusing on right now? How am I gonna get better? Uh, basically, since we all have consoles right now, right? Yeah. We should focus on training mode. Okay. And just to expand your knowledge okay. about the game. Okay. How do I expand my knowledge? I'm using Ryu and I keep losing. What, I don't know why I'm losing. What well, should so I be doing with this character? All right, so first, it's like training mode. You see, mm -hmm. like, there's lines. Yes. Like, you see the lines, right? Right. That's right, right. how you measure your spacing. I thought that that was just for decoration, to be honest. No. You <laughs> see, even there's lines on the back of the wall. That's right. Your height spacing. 
like yeah, for example, you want to know how yeah. far your low fork goes. Right. So you press this. Oh, so, oh it reached oh. that line. So you have one cube oh, of space. God. Okay. So once you're used to this screen, yeah. and you have to put this in the actual whatever stage. So basically, you pick. when I'm when I'm at this screen right now, because I'm not gonna lie, like this is real talk right now. <laughs> like <laughs> I envisioned this just for decoration. No, all the lines are for spacing. I should be using this screen, and I should be like implanting this imagery in my head no matter what stage I'm on. Exactly. I should be visualizing cubes even if I'm on a boat fighting in <laughs> Seth's laboratory. Yes. You know, okay, no matter where. Okay. So let's say I jump in, I don't know if this, if my round is gonna reach, right? Mm -hmm. But it reaches, because, well, I've been training. Right, right. So that's like this line, I know it's gonna hit. Right. But here, it's gonna hit. That's right. the max distance. So okay. I'm counting how many cubes okay. there is. So I know, I was like, oh, here, I'm gonna, like my max distance is gonna hit. If I don't press anything here, yeah. He's not gonna hit me. Right. So I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna fake this out. Right. So he has you, to guess. I'm okay. not the one guessing if I jump at this distance. Well, I'm, I'm actually, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> I did not know to look at my Yeah, cubes. so there's a really, I don't know if it's new, but it's a yeah. pretty common tatsu that we all do. Yeah. Maybe you see me or Daigo doing it, like okay. this. Yes. So how, like, people are like, how do I practice yeah. this, right? So there's the height. Okay. Where my, my uh, head is gonna land and probably yeah. one, two, three. The third line, like here. Yeah. Here's when here's where I press it. Huh. It hits. It's almost at the peak of your jump. Yes, too, exactly. Huh? But okay. you, you see where the head is yeah. gonna be, like right before right where the yellow bar is? Yeah. That's where you press it. It's gonna, it's gonna hit. And does it matter what the other character's height is? Of course. That's okay. why you need right. both characters. Okay. Yeah. So you have to practice yeah, on exactly. the smallest characters and the tallest of characters yes, to see yes. when, okay. But there's only three hitboxes, like small, right, medium, right, and right. big. So you have to know all the, yeah. that'll save your time. Okay, small being like a cami, cami medium being like yeah. a bog, and tall being Sagat, Sagat yeah. Abel. Oh, Abel, I didn't realize that. In case people aren't sure, what is exactly a safe jump? A safe jump is a jump that you jump in that nothing can hit you back. Right. You can block. Um, they can't you can block yeah. the reversal in time. Okay. That's, it only works for any attack that's not three frames. Okay. So let's say sag gets upper gets five frames. I okay. believe. So that's that works. Right. So let's say here. For example, there's a lot of safe jumps. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is how I use the training mode, like record mode. Okay. For example, I put, um, so usually you choose your character. Mm -hmm. One player is the character you wanted, right. you main, and yeah. then the character you want to record as dummy. Okay. And here, I let's say I want to do a save jump on Saget. So first right. thing you want to do, make sure you have, you want, maybe you don't need a meter, but right. meter, putting refill is better than infinite. Okay. So actually. Yeah, it yeah, gives you discipline, so you yeah. can't have unlimited meter. It's more realistic so, in a real match. Yeah. So when you're recording, so yeah. you look at the bar right now, like yeah. the meter, they're okay. not like full yet. Right. So maybe what you want to do is a restart. Maybe you want to do a sweep into safe jump. Okay. So you dash for it twice. Okay. So okay. Down right now. Okay. So I'm blocking after right. the record. So after that attack, you already started blocking. Right. So now I want it to play back. Okay. So I'm second. So I want to know. I'm doing the dash because no matter I am in the screen, mm -hmm. second is in the screen, I'm going to adjust it again. But okay. Dash it forward to make it the closest range okay. for the sweep. So let's see. That was an safe jump. Hmm. Your timing has to be. So maybe. you have to make sure you get it down. Exactly. So that your so jump. You have to pad this. Punished. Thing. Yeah. That, that was good. That, that was looked good. like it was good. That, it hit deep. You want to hit him in the balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good. Very good. When you're gonna play a character, you need to know if you can if you're doing safe jump. Yeah. On him. Okay. That's important. That's like free pressure. You're landing right. free. Right. Jump in. Even though if he blocks it, you're still being beating meter, right? Right, yeah. If he blocks it, that's fine. Yes. Because now you're adding pressure, you're exactly. pushing him to the It's corner. still in your favor. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he blocks it. So mm -hmm. a lot of people think like, oh, I'm not doing damage. It's, it's useless. Right. No, right? you push him in the corner, you're building meter, you're mm -hmm. applying pressure. 
and it's okay. free. Right. He's not gonna hit you. So he if, can do anything. So if you're jumping in on a character out there and you get hit, you're jumping incorrectly, pretty much, right? Exactly. Because you shouldn't be able to get hit. Exactly. <laughs> this shouldn't work, like you right. see here. Right. And what's good in training was, for example, Saget. Mm -hmm. That's the command for uppercut, right? So, okay. Right. So I changed Akuma, and I... You can still, like, leave the same, um... If you don't leave the... Training mode... Yeah. The recording the, thing is still there. So the why same. doesn't it work on Akuma? Because he has a... The teleport? No, the f free frame... Shortcut. Uppercut. Uh, never works. Okay. It doesn't work on Ryu, it doesn't work on... Hmm. Kuma. It works on Ken if he uses the strong version uppercut, because four frame. Yeah, okay. So it has to be three. So it has to use the fierce or right. the jab. How would you go about practicing footsies? Footsies, well, I would put the dummy, mm -hmm. the character I want to practice yeah. against, right. and keep whiffing. Like one of their best pokes. Yeah, the poke I want to punish. Yeah. So let's say I want to do. Uh, I want to punish Ryu's low forward. Yeah. I would have the dummy. One of his best pokes. You exactly. see yeah, new yeah. players it's all over the spirit. world just spamming that move. Yeah. And I'll do it in max distance. This is max distance, by the way. Okay. And it's never going to touch. And you knew it was max distance because of that one cube. Just because of the cube. I told you, it's one cube, exactly. Okay. So it's not going to touch you. Keep doing it for the full 10 seconds. Okay. So we have enough time to practice. Or, yeah, okay. That's good. We're gonna play that. It's the battle of the century. Fight. And now what you're basically doing is you're standing outside of right. the range. I already know the max. You know range the range. Where, you know, yeah, it's a cute. Where my sweep was gonna hit his longer. Yeah. yeah. So we try other pokes of that. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Just like that. So would you say the best way to punish that is with a sweep? With a sweep. Okay, because it has more range yes. than the medium kick. Yes. Okay. Fireball is actually part of the footsies for you. Fireball. How, so would, maybe you, if how I know, would you apply fireballs to footsies? It, it's no different from sweep. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you whip a sweep and then you do a jump in, you yeah. still get a full combo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your fireball is pretty slim. So let's say at this distance, I'll just throw fireball. Um, They're hard, it's hard for them to jump by reaction. And right. It's gonna beat whatever he's gonna do. Because this is the longest poke right. we have. I would, this is where I would throw fireball. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense because that's what Daigo always hits me. Yeah, because he's like, oh, <laughs> you're throw, not, yeah. you can't jump in by reaction like that. Right. So, and he knows that's your best poke. And mm. my best poke would be fireball at this Situation. I have never considered fireballs to being a poke. Yeah, it's part of poke. It's, it's free chip too, and that's my hmm. longest. And it comes yeah. out right, as a right. projectile. So, mm -hmm. so what you essentially want to do is you want to sit in training mode, in training practice mode. against no. the characters. Yes, yeah. knows the, try all their best pokes. Yeah, know the distance yeah. and know your distance where you can punish oh. a whiff or punish block. And then you'll be a footsie master in no time. <laughs> Ryu has some basic moves, the fireball, the uppercut, and the hurricane kick. Basically, that's all he has. You know, yeah. Yeah. Sounds very basic. Yes. But to really master him takes a lot of technique and practice as yes. well, right? Yes, yes. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about his fireball? Um, so let's say how, where I throw fireball. Okay. Of course, I would throw it at max range. Cause right. Nothing's going to harm me, but right. hurricane kick against Ryu. And right. also using different version of fireball is very important. Okay. The speed. Yeah. The speed and yeah, just where you want to position them. Okay. This is basically where you control. You know, on average, I would think that people would only use the slow fireball or the fast fireball. Right, but the medium is actually very important too. Oh, okay, interesting. Because it's like the, it's not too slow and it's, it's not, not too. Yeah, it's the awkward This is too speed. slow. Yeah. It's, it's almost as fast, but yeah. is that like the perfect? Right. Speed <laughs> that you want them to be. Mm, interesting. Uh, well, first, when I practice in training mode again, mm. like with fireball, mm -hmm. so I put it in record mode. So let's say when you throw a fireball, his arms are sticking out, right? Yeah. So that 
at one cube yeah. almost. Okay. So you want it whenever you throw, you have to expect you have two cubes of hitbox mm -hmm. here. Where you throw. So you yeah. actually have two. So even full screen, let's say here, if there's two, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna hit if he throws fireball from there. So you wanna know if I throw it over there, yeah, there's risk. Because you extend, risk you extend your body. Yes, yeah, but let's say if I'm the Ryu player, yeah. I'll be like, oh, the max thing he can do is this. Yeah. You can't even land a sweep. Okay. Wow. First, I get hit, I'm gonna be pushed back. Yeah. The max distance is gonna, not yeah. gonna hit. Okay. So you know where the max distance is over. The only thing you're gonna risk is one jumping around house. That's it. Okay. So that's where you want to know. Like, oh, okay. So here I can throw fireballs. Mm. And that's probably the only thing I'm going to hit. So yeah. That's fine. Throwing fireballs any closer than that, you risk you being risk. a huge combo. Not a huge combo. You know, then this yeah. is like probably a sweep. Yeah. So I have to know. Right. Okay. The recovery time is the same for every character. No, for okay. every version for of every fireball. Okay. But the jab one seems to recover, recover faster because by the time the fireball hits, hits yeah, you're you right. already cover. Yeah. So it's the fireball making the recovery time different. Mm. So if you keep throwing the fast one here, yeah. it already, he already jumped in before your fireball hits. But right. in here, you already recovered, then you have time to do a anti-air. You really have to think about which fireball you want exactly. to Exactly. So Rather than you just think you're gonna them. jump in the corner, they, mm. they want to jump out. They want to jump you wanna out. Jump, you throw a jab, it's harder for them to Right. It makes them hesitate because yeah. coming up so slow, yeah. they were like, oh, if I jump out, he'll have time to let like, If they jump me. out, can like, I let's say put I me in? Human. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. All right. So let's say, um, let's so, yeah, start. You let's got say me I, in there. Okay, so, don't, don't block. Let's yeah. say I landed this. Okay. I'll keep throwing jabs and try to jump out. I don't have time. If I throw a fierce one. Exactly. Okay. That's how it works. But if it's a jab it's a one, jab fireball. I want to punish that. That's how it works. So the medium one, you have to do it in training when adjust yourself. I'm smirking. I like what I see. <laughs> Can you, uh, you know, there's another thing that I know people overlook, and it's the uppercut. Um, what is the best way to use the uppercut? Sometimes I see it trade. Sometimes I've tried to jump in on people when on the floor, and I just get hit clean. What well, is the secret to that? Well, especially in super right now, his mm. uppercut invincibility is nerve, yeah. so you have to use a strong one. And so it's you, not okay. too strong right now if you do it, let's say you do a jump in. I can't jump in on me. Yeah. Yeah, usually it's going to trade because right. the... But it probably doesn't trade on Rude, maybe. When you do it, the proper way to do it is crouch. Crouch have first. Your, have Rude crouch, and then you do the command. This way it lowers the their attack. Uh -huh. It lowers your body and their attack, it's not going to hit you as, like, it's going to hit you later. Exactly, that's going to hit. Okay. If you do it later, it's going to be clean. So you try to Because before my, yeah, because my attack is going to hit yeah. you. You crouch and then you try to do the uppercut at the very last right, exactly. second while they're still in the air, of yes, course. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Lowers your body and your attack, it's not going to, before it hit. And if I stand up and do it? Uh, right now. Yeah, that okay. works too. But some but character like time. yes, you yes. But a, some yeah. characters like Blanca or yeah. Saget, mm -hmm. you have to crouch it. Otherwise, right. it's gonna trade. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you know, depending on their attacks. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. And like people want to do like a cross up uppercut, you have to do it crouching. Yeah. So like, if I, if I try to cross you up, <laughs> you have to crouch. Otherwise, you're gonna get hit by the cross up attack before it. Before I, see. Oh. I don't understand how you're doing that motion from crouching. So what I want to do is I'm always holding down forward. Down forward. So I'm ready for the shortcut motion. Yeah. So you're not even holding down, you're holding no, down No, if forward. you hold down, let's say you have super, super's mm -hmm. gonna come out. That's why my super was coming yes. out. So you have to hold down forward, so you're okay. ready for a shortcut uppercut. Okay, what is the shortcut? Shortcut is like down forward and up, and then down forward again. Instead of having the down, you're not, never gonna touch down, so you're doing it. Especially when you're doing that crouching motion, it always puts in a crouching motion rate. Yeah. I'm not doing the. the right, you're not worried way. about where I'm at. Yeah, you're it's going to auto correct if you do it properly. Yeah. Because once, huh. once you get this, auto correct everything's easier. There's a shortcut. 
I've never practiced a shortcut. I think that's something everybody needs to practice. In yeah, these it makes shortcuts. everything easy. My goodness, uh, throw me real quick and try to cross me up. Okay. I'm gonna try I'm gonna that. Pull. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I need to switch mains right now. Do it again. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's how you do it. It's all about timing and your, this shortcut motion makes everything I have never easier. done a shortcut motion in my life. I use Honda, there's no shortcuts with Honda. Yeah, that, that's great, but yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Throw me again, I need, to I need this one more time, this is too sick. Oh, goodness gracious. Golly, it would be with all crazy animals. What are you doing? You can't jump in at me. I'm for you. I'm the best character in the game. Well, of course, each, <laughs> no, each character has a different right, right, right. jump in, so you have to make sure you yeah. practice against the whole cast. Okay. Shortcuts. I never knew. How do you utilize Ryu's Hurricane Kick? Well, it's not... Um, It's pretty useful, especially mm. against projectile characters. Mm. Like... When Ryu throws a fire with full screen, this is my only way to go through it and get my counter. Also, I would use it, let's say, um, in the beginning of a match. Yeah. If there's a way I can combo it into Hurricane Kick, yeah. I only use Hurricane Kick. Okay. Just to push my character to the corner. Closer to the corner. Yeah. Like one Hurricane Kick there, I push him like half right. the full screen, right? Right. And let's say when I'm cornered, yeah. and I'm to get out and I can some somehow land a combo. Okay, let's say I'm in a big, a comfortable lead. Yeah. And I don't want to take any more risks because I don't know what, what's he going to do on wake up here, right? Yeah. And I'm putting my Probably, seven risk. Right. But if I don't want to do any risk, I'll do a combo in Tatsu. Where here, I get a... Can't come again. That's a light kick? Tatsu. That's a light kick. Okay. And where I can get a free fireball and I can start walking out after he blocks the first one. Do that again. Okay. Mm, he has to block it. Yeah. He has to block it. And he's right. gonna be he's is in my favor now. Yeah. So example, after you block it, try and throw a fireball. I can uh, I'm gonna jump. Let's try that again. Okay. Alright. I just walk here. If he I can jump. Mm. Now I can land. He's gonna be in risk. Right. Okay, so then he's not gonna do anything. If he jumps, I'm gonna uppercut. Okay. I, I still I'm I'm actually adjusting my own range to uppercut. Ah. I have a free walk. He can't do anything. What happens if they don't do a quick get up? That's fine. I still get a free dash. Oh yeah, you still they still can't do anything. They can't do anything. I just Because if they My purpose is to get out right and not take any more risk. Right. Well, we also use the well, I can't say we. I also use the <laughs> forward version hurricane oh, kick. Why why um, would you use that one? For example, I, it keeps me out of the risk as well. Let's say here. I get that max distance. Oh. Low four. Right here. I'm not gonna put myself in risk, but. Yeah, that's so let's, If he's gonna do uppercut, mm -hmm. it's gonna whiff. Even if you do the strong one. Not an S. Yep. That's why I do it. So let's say I do a ultra. Mm -hmm. If I if I wanna come back, obviously I'm gonna do the brownhouse for just to get close. But if I do a. Mm. If I just want to make him scared, or I don't want to yeah. put myself in risk, I'll use the this version. See, I'm at this distance. Huh. It's not going to risk me. They can't throw me on wake up. Right. It's going to whiff. And then yeah, jump tatsu. And this is the most, most common one we use. It's the full screen tatsu, which, which lands faster than the normal one. And right. it allows you to link into ultra. So let's say you're in the corner. Okay. Throw a fireball. It's gonna hit. And you can. Wow. And there's lesser risk than this one. It's harder yeah. to punish. Right. So you can just uh, try and punish. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Whatever. Oh, it's harder okay. time. And. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I Instead, see. compared to this one, it's slow and then you can just yeah. do uppercut. Yeah. Like that. So that's how you use it. And I get a free ultra. I've never seen that. And you get a free ultra. I thought it can only link it after EX No, because this kick. way you're not going to get a free ultra. Right. Only thing you get is a super. Uh, where yeah. it's harder to. Yeah, it's yeah. harder to. It has to be the last hit of it. So but this to use it allows you case. to do a free ultra. Yeah, you can do this. No meter, meterless. And let's say a combo, not a combo, a hurricane kick here. You can do an ultra too. Yeah. That's 
be accurate. Hmm. Seems like a overpowered character. No. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. There's a lot of tools. Yeah, he's got a lot of yeah, tools. Yeah, tools in the ultra, of course. Yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about meter management. Okay. You know, for me with Honda, when I'm playing, um, you know, I can build meter pretty easily with my 100 hand slap. And what I use it for is mainly for the EX headbutt, just in case I need to get out of, you know, tough situations. Yes. So with Ryu, how do you gain meter and why do you, what are you saving it for? Or do you just use it at your, whatever? Well, um, so first thing I would do is, Get the first two meter. Okay. Or at least get one meter. Okay. Just to make them respect. Right. Meter. <laughs> nice. Right. Okay. So let's say a full screen. Yeah. Um, let's get against a full full screen against a character like Abel. He yeah. doesn't have any attack that can hit me. Right. This ring. So maybe I would throw a fireball. And whatever he does, let's say a focus attack. Yeah. Here I have a gap to do two uppercuts. Mm, okay. That's how much I built. Yeah. While during that gap. Right. Let's say you jump. I still have. Right. A gap to do. Oh, okay. Let's say jump. I still have a gap to do one. Yeah. And now or you're already two. at one meter. If you jump forward, I still have a time to do one. Yeah. What are some good block strings you do to get meter? Um, usually I do a jab, jab, jab. And okay, just three quick jabs. Three quick jabs in case he mashes yeah. on everything, like yeah. the command throw. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna hit me. Right. Mm. That's the perfect distance of the safe pull. So you're calculating your distance for yeah. three jabs. Yeah. Right? It's not gonna touch me. What about EX? Will that grab you? Uh, I don't think so. Nope. It's perfect. And now you're at two meters, and the yeah. reason why you become deadly at two meters... After it. Oh, yeah. exact, let's take Abel as an example. Yeah. So after a step kick, after I bought yeah. a step kick, yeah. or after a knockdown, he has to guess. Yeah. He has to respect my uppercut now. Right. Because I'm going to FADC that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he has to respect that. And what's so important about Rue having meters, like, when he builds super, mm -hmm. it's a three frame super, it's not hard to land and it does like great amount of damage. Right. And people have to start respecting and a lot of it punishes a lot of stuff at certain range, like um let's say I have super right now. Okay. It's not gonna touch you, right? If I have super, uh -huh. it's gonna punish you. Well back here, yeah. I was blocking that. Yeah. Because that's how useful super is when Super punishes a lot yes, of stuff. Yes, for real. That's why you're always saving that meter. Yes. Huh. If you watch how I play or yeah. my videos, I always have super and in no time. <laughs> and after a sweep, let's say against Abel, where mm -hmm. I get like free jump in, I'll just do random. Mm -hmm. I'll do some safe pokes and then I'll probably end it with that low four into fireball. Let's say after a knockdown, especially in the beginning of the round. Yeah. Almost one meter. Wow. So in one knockdown. Especially in the beginning of a match, yeah. when both players have no meter, mm -hmm. once you have a couple meters leading, you're already like, the match is not in your favor. Right. Can you do that one more time? Yeah. I want to try blocking all I of it. Okay. It's almost one meter. What a lot of play, real players I found online, mm -hmm. let's say, they throw a lot of full screen EX fireball, <laughs> which, it you're doesn't work. It's just wasting meter. Yeah, it's like Let's say luckily you hit. That's no right. damage. Right. Rather, rather than EX Fireball, save it for a super or a right. free... Or the two meters. Right, for yeah. a free wake up. So don't waste your EX Fireballs. Stop doing yeah, that. Yeah, it doesn't work. Maybe you can do it like this range, yeah, that, out of, out of yeah. nowhere it can right. you get. Yeah, that's not wasting it because... EX Fireball can gain you position. Exactly, and exactly, the exactly. The full screen, it's, it's a waste. It's a waste. It's not yeah. gonna hit. Right. Even if it's gonna hit, there's yeah. no damage. If it, if it and hits. And let's say when Ryu is in the corner, EX Fireball, it's one of the safest way to get you out of the corner. And you just get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, now you're out. <laughs> now you're out. Now Abel's gonna be chasing exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> well, I have to say, like, whenever I land, like, when I, let's say I dodge a Fireball. When uh -huh. I land, I just do it. Real oh, yeah. quick, uh, the barely noticeable hurricane kick. Yeah. I still do meter. Right. It's not a lot, but I'm still it's free. Yeah, it's. Free I'm still meter. jumping anyways, right? Yeah. You can't yeah. necessarily. You might not be able to see him doing that. Yeah, but and that there's no like. Yeah. The recovery time is instant. 
So you just build meter any sneaky way I think, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ryu is one of the best characters building meters. Mm. All kinds of ways. Let's talk a little bit more about um, meter and managing it. Um, how would you go about managing your meter like in between rounds and stuff? Between rounds. Let's say when Abe, oh, let's say I play against Abel. Mm -hmm. When I'm losing, when he's leading like 70% or 50%, right. I wouldn't use my meter now. Okay. So first I expect myself losing this round. Right. But I want to save the meter for the next round. Otherwise I have nothing next, if I use it now, I have nothing next round and that's it, that's game yeah. over. But at least I'll try and make a 50%. So my goal is to, I set my goal into like making this 50% a comeback right now. And then when we're about even or when I'm about to get a stun, that's when I'm gonna use my meter just for a comeback. Right. So right. simply for comeback purposes. Exactly. And right. maybe you don't know when you can have a chance to land super. Right. That's almost like 40% 40, 40 comeback. So. so would you say sometimes it's best, you know, when you're holding on to a little bit of meter and it's still the, uh, let's say you won the first round. Yes. And the second round you're, you know, you're losing, um, but you still have some a good amount of meter. Would you say it's best to just almost give that round away and yes, try to win I would. meter? I would. Yeah. I'll save it and give that round. Yeah. I'll, for example, if you lose this round, the yeah. second round, you lose it, but you use all your meter, yeah. third round is like a guaranteed lose. Yeah, you go into the third round with nothing. Yes. It's better to just understand your losses, yes. focus, and let's go into the third round with a full stock yes, of meter. Yes, exactly. Okay. When you want to come back or when mm. you want the game, want to win the game, you always need a two bars. Right. Just to make your opponent to respect. <laughs> it's all about respect. Respect, it. man. You, it's all about your respect, your meter into... FEDC into mm -hmm. ultra. Let's say when, when you have like a chance to land a big combo, yeah, and a miscreen. The only thing, the biggest combo is FEDC into ultra. Right. But if you only have one meter, yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So you need two meter yeah. just in case that. That's like it's right. gonna happen. So when should you use your ultra? Do you wait until it's all the way fully stocked? Um. Well. Well, when I want to come back, I want to yeah. use my ultra until I have full bar. Yeah. Because the damage is a big difference right. compared to half a bar. But if I, let's say I'm leading, mm -hmm. I've come to bull lead, yeah. I'll use it. If I have a half of the ultra, I'll yeah. use it just to have a bigger lead. So it's like damage versus momentum. Right, right, right. Sort of. You want I have momentum like, to keep going exactly, use exactly. that half bar. I'll use it because I can use it again yeah. in the end of the round. I can use two ultras yeah. in one round. That's when I use it. If I want a great lead, I'll use it half bar. If I want a big comeback, I'll use it in the end. That's interesting. Very cheap. <laughs> Very cheap. cheap. Two ultras in one round. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs>
try use my fastest pull plate, right. Str low strong yeah. or low forward, just to keep them out. And let's say on a wake up, when you're leading, mm -hmm. you should just try and block. Okay. Instead of whipping an uppercut, which yeah. will put you in great risk. And yeah, go ahead. <laughs> like Abel is gonna. Yeah. So you do any. Yeah, you don't want to wake up and just right, do an right, right. Especially even if you meter. do it, even if you do it when you're leading, you, you might want to use your gauge. Right. And instead of, and there's option select, so backdash doesn't really work, and Ryu's option select is, I mean, backdash is ass. <laughs> it doesn't even do anything, so rather than backdashing, I would just block okay. when you're defensing. And when it comes to, um, let's say I'm in like 60% lead and mm -hmm. Abel has 20%. Right. Like, it's pretty obvious that he's going to try and do something. Yeah, he's going to go nuts. He's he come back, to, right? Yeah, he needs to come back and he's going to get a So instead, on a wake up, you might want to just block. Right. The worst thing you're going to get is throw. Is throw. Yeah. But it's going to reset the situation here. Yeah. So it just, you can take like, I don't know, I think like four throws or five throws. He's like, yeah. Just take it. I mean, let the situation reset and yeah. Sometimes, sometimes after I yeah. throw, like they don't have setups after I throw, and that's yeah. all they do. Right. And yeah, instead of you has like if you panic and like mash on uppercuts or with this, yeah, one low fears into ultra. That's yeah. it. And yeah, don't worry about my execution. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about your ables. And maybe after a throw, maybe <laughs> you can do a safe jump, but right, you know, safe jump. There's a Strict timing. Yeah, you might not want to risk it. Tiny even window. If you like, yeah. Even if you can do it, I don't know, with your friends, you can mm -hmm. do it like perfectly. Maybe you don't want to do that in a tournament. Yeah. Maybe you just walk back, give him some space. <laughs> nice. And you're still. He's still thinking. Right. He has to approach you again. Like and here. Then, and yeah. then you can start Abel spamming has, those yeah. normals. Yeah. Then Jeez. after a throw, you walk back. <laughs> Abel has to like think of a way to get in again. Yeah. Instead of you going in when right. you're leading. All right, let's get a little more specific with some of these matchups. Okay. Um, obviously, people should know by now that one of Ryu's hardest matchups is Dalsum. Yes. What are some of the things you can do to try to overcome this uphill battle? Um, I personally think this matchup is so hard that it's almost impossible. Right. But... Um, and that's mainly because I mean, right, we, right. we talked about some of your specials, the fireball... Uppercut, hurricane kick. Yeah, you can't do any of it. Sim well, you has can an do answer for all of yes. this. Yes. Well, you can do hurricane kick, but you have to like predict his <laughs> yeah, yoga, exactly. yoga fire, which is hard. Right. So you have to. I'll play. I'll play the player mm -hmm. instead of the character. You have really. to play the player. Yes. You have to play the player in this matchup. And so what you want to do is you have to have super. Yeah. Okay. In this matchup. Otherwise, you're not going to threat Dalton at all. Right. So, um, also, at, at this full screen range, you can mm. actually land damage against Dalson. How so? So, when he does the standing fears, this move, you can actually punish it with s several stuff, like low jab, um, low strong. Nice. And a sweep. Yeah. Nice. And then you get it. Yeah. Then, After that, you dash yeah, you twice momentum. just to get okay. closer. And the first thing you want to do is push, push some dolls in the corner. Yes. That's the only way to win. And yeah. not to forget using the this hurricane, mm -hmm. this air tatsu, because it when you do a yoga fire, you can actually it's easier to get in, and it's harder for a, a dolls player to punish rather than this. It's slow and it's easy. Right. Once you get close, let's say mm, he's blocking your poke string. But yeah. You don't want to let him out okay. so what you can do is use focus level to just to get back in and apply more pressure mm -hmm. and you have you have to use a lot of um frame traps against Olsen and hurricane kick is one of the best or the easiest um frame trap to land on Olsen I don't think you want to jump in against him really but you have to at least jump once or twice. Sometimes in this matchup, yeah. it seems like you're gonna have to take risks. You in have order to, to get jump damaged. in just to give this message to your opponent. Like, ah, yeah. oh, man, this guy uh, would jump. Yeah, right. So just to make them, head. yes, just to make them prepare mm -hmm. for the entire, and then right. 
Yeah, because really, like, if you go ahead and throw a fireball. Okay. <laughs> a trade, even a trade. <laughs> it's in my still, favor. It's in your favor because my upper guy is not gonna do anything. So you have to, yeah, you have to be scared at all. Yeah. Man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Dalsum can afford to trade a few of those. Yeah, but all like jump in the attack and beat certain yeah. normals too. If not timed correctly. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you have to jump in sometimes just to yeah. pray. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of prayers. And Dalsum, we'll for this matchup. all Dalsum players are pretty, they're pretty they're paranoid. Patient. No, oh, they're, they're paranoid, paranoid against jump, like throws. Yeah. Don't like hesitate to like throw them. Yeah, you want, once you have them on the ground, that's exactly yes. where you want yes. all sims. That's your moment to shine. Yes. Got to read your opponent. You know, you can't throw yeah. fireballs from full screen. You can't really jump at him because he's got normals to stop everything. Right, right. And there's nothing worse than when this happens. <laughs> and yes. You get thrown out of there. <laughs> yes. And his super is ridiculously good. Yeah. So we're going to talk now about the Guile matchup. This is another really difficult matchup for it's you. It's very difficult in Super right now. So this is, yeah, some small tactics that might help you overcome this uphill battle again. So at four cubes here, you see, it's not going to hit even if right. my hand is out. At three cube range, we're here. Yeah. One, two, three. It's going to yeah, hit me. I'll get that. Yeah. So yeah, make sure you know the range. It's here. Yeah. It's not going to hit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's far. Yeah. Okay. The most common anti-air Gal down uses fierce. a little, yeah, yeah, down spear. Where if you don't press anything at this point, mm -hmm. it's not gonna hit you. You mix it with, and you can punish. Punish. But if you throw out a button, but if you throw a button, it's yeah. gonna hit you. Okay. Yeah. So good Gal players. Once you do this to like really good Gal players, mm -hmm. they're gonna substitute with a standing fierce. Right. Which is gonna. Hit, even if I'm not pressing anything. Oh, jeez. Um, or the swing punch. Yeah, okay, so okay. This is when you're yeah. fucking up their mind. Yeah. So this is gonna be used. Then Ooh. it's gonna beat it. Your, this attack. Okay. It's gonna beat it. So first you have to make them hesitate on which normals they're gonna use. Oh, jeez. And when Gal is pressuring you with Sonic Boom, mm. At the three cube range, yeah. you have to keep blocking, or otherwise, right. if you're trying to counter, his normal is gonna hit you. Right. So keep blocking until you get the four cube range before mm. you throw any fireballs or hit any normal. Right. And most common thing, Ryu get not a lot of Ryu's get hit by his back fist punch. Mm -hmm. So usually, um, back fist, usually people just keep walking into it. I always see Giles landing at least yes. two consecutive. Yes. Because people are trying to. Move. They, yeah, they get frustrated. You can move, but the, after the first one, the, f the first thing you want to do after you get hit mm. is crouch. It's not going to hit you when it's crouched. So first thing you want to do is, I'm going to crouch and then do a low forward. It's going to punish. Mm. And make sure you build super in this matchup. What is a super good for? It's good for punishing his uh, counters. Sonic Boom. Here, it's gonna fall. Oh, nice. So, and this is where you want to use your EX Fireball wisely. Yeah. So, let's say Gal throws a Sonic Boom. Here, you can connect him to Ultra. Mm. So, you want to save your meter to do that. So, that's. Keep your EX Fireballs. You're, now, you, now you use it up. here. Yeah. Now you can throw it whenever you want. Mm. So basically that's it. And not to forget to use your Tatsu to go for the Sonic Boom. Right. But you have to have a good read. Let's look at Bison. These are all bad matchups, generally for Ryu. Yeah, it was, I would say, even in vanilla, yeah. but yeah. since it's buffs yeah, they, and it's they ultra, buffed. it's harder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's generally the game plan in this matchup? Um, don't get cornered. Okay, and it's easy for him to corner it's you because- It's easy because one- he's got or, scissor kick Yeah, pressure. one or two scissor kicks, you're in the corner. So let's, okay, let's say how to get out. So I would keep blocking after yeah. scissor kick strength because it's a loop, yeah. two times loop. And you, you might want to keep blocking 
Because they're gonna do, eventually they're gonna do a roundhouse to keep you right. jumping. So you have to read your player. Yeah. But keep blocking, it doesn't do much chip damage, as yeah. you can see, so. So anyway, so here's a little trick. Low short in the scissor right. kick, because it's a loop. I had to block yeah. it. That's good. Okay, do that again, please. So that makes those. <laughs> wait short a minute, way. wait a minute. Right now, uh, for those of you that can't see, we're in a room full of like 70 employees, and they all looked at us with their eyebrows raised. They didn't understand how that just worked. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> so this stops this loop. <laughs> this stops this loop. That's so sick. <laughs> yeah, this stops it. It doesn't make a big difference. You're still you're still in the corner, but right. this makes it whiff, so it's a scissor kick wouldn't come out. Wow. So this is where you want to jump out. <laughs> this is a little trick. And then everybody stopped looking at me like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, people are like, what? So yeah, so this is a little trick. So usually bisons, yeah. um, they would do like, let's say full screen when they have gauge. So obviously they're gonna do it like a, yeah. either they're gonna build meter yeah. with devil reapers or yeah. gonna fake you out with a Head stomp, yeah. right? Yeah. So whenever you see this move, you can, of course, you can do oh. a jump back yeah. or do a fireball where he lands. What you want to do is do do a really early mm -hmm. jump strong with three. Right. When he want to fake it out, before he can fake it out, right. it's too late. Yeah. You can land this and you can get an ultra, free ultra. So right when you see this, yeah. just do it. Yeah. Just do it. It's gonna be his. And pretty much in that in that point, you have to be feeling out the player. To right, see right, you right. Think he's gonna try gonna, to build me. They're trying to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't matter. Even if you do this, even yeah. his head stomp, yeah, it's not gonna touch me. I'm gonna beat it. This is the one you do. Yeah. An early one. Only thing you gotta be scared of is when he starts glowing. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> even if they glow, and you jump yeah. back. Yeah. All right. And against this character, you have to zone him out. But. When he has meter, and you have, have to make sure he's walking forward before you throw a fireball. Mm. Yeah, because if he's yeah, sitting there, he's you don't... charging, you know what's yeah. up. And a good move to like fake the ultra is this. Yeah. So people are going to like fall yeah, they're into gonna, it. Yeah, they're going to fall into it. Because <laughs> people want to ultra yeah. that fireball. Yeah, and... So you got to fake him out. Right, Try right. to fake that ultra out. So there's a lot of like common setups like... EXI crush and full screen. People are trying to get in, so they're gonna do it. But this is safe on block for Bison at this range. Mm. He's gonna do a low short into yeah. a loop. I can't do anything right here. So what do you want to do? Yeah, do look for it. A full screen. It's either he's gonna do a devil reapers, mm -hmm. a head stomp, or this, where you can uppercut. Right. So you look for it and then you uppercut. And you, punch. Or you can do a jump back. Yeah, and you know he's gonna be thinking about it. He has to do something, there right? For two right, right, right. So just do something. Just don't forget to use the EX Hurricane Kick as a frame trap because people are mashing that okay. a little short. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, don't forget that one. Get some yeah, I'm mashing it. I'm mashing yeah, that short. People mash that shit. I'm trying to play like a bison should. Yeah, and um, let's say in the corner, they also do, like, even Daigo. Yeah. If some some setups or whatever, you're blocking all his stuff, mm -hmm. he's going to do something different. Yes. They'll be like, oh, this guy's blocking everything. It's not going to work. So let's say you keep blocking the... Scissor kick. Yeah. They're gonna do something. They'll right. probably do an EX head stomp. So this is what you do when he does an EX stomp. Four dash and you get a free mm. punish. So expect uh expect an EX head stomp. So once he glow, just get the fuck out and punish. It's totally like you can react to it. It's yeah, slow. it makes sense. That's the only again. thing they can do. Let's try it again. Okay. So now you get up. Everybody can react to that. It's easy. You just have to yeah, look for it. Yeah, Once you yeah, see yeah. a glow, obvious is that move, right? right. The Psycho Crusher, you can punish it. Then you get hit. And mm. EX Scissor Kick, you're gonna get hit. So that's the only thing you have to look for. Another popular character people like to pick, Geef. Yes. Everybody loves a Geef. He's got tons of damage. Um, tons of priority on some of his moves. How the heck does Ryu stop him? Um, you can't really. You have to summon him out, of course. Yeah. Ryu has a lot of tools to keep him yeah. out. So. Right. So, most of the Geef players, the only thing you have to worry about is jump fears, which you have to uppercut with the, with the, with the 
shortcut. crouching. Yeah, yeah with the, the shortcut. shortcut. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna trade. Right. This move is gonna trade so easily, uh, and it's not gonna be in your favor. It's right. ridiculous to trade. It's yeah. not gonna. It's not gonna trade. It's gonna trade every time, unless you do this. Okay. Anyways, Shark um, you can also do. Since Sangus has a short jump, yeah. So, even though if you see the range, they're gonna yeah. do this short, short jump. You have to use normals to beat this move mm. instead of whiffing uppercut. It's too risky. Right. Yeah. Because right, if, so, if you went all exactly. Like so a... when you're, this is the only move that can be clean. This oh. and jab. So when you're in a huge lead, you might not want to uppercut. Oh wow. Now, what about, you know, geese that are spamming lariats? How do you stop that? Oh, usually I would walk for and do a combo like this. Mm. So don't worry too much about getting hit by a lariat. You can actually space it. Okay. Just get a free punish. Nice. When geese is getting close to you, you want to... Mm. You have to out foot season. Yeah. With this and sweep. So usually after a sweep, a really safe setup is... Throwing the first fireball, yeah. it doesn't matter where he mm. is. Mm. So you can't do it too close because the reversal EX Palm is going to hit you here. Okay. Okay, so you do it here where it's safe on block. Mm. Okay? Or if he does it, okay, you can do it. We can do block or do a focus back dash in here. This is a safe setup. A uh. slow one into the fast one, he has to block it. He can't do anything. You can do Lariat, but it's gonna get hit. Okay, try doing Lariat. This is gonna hit. This is gonna trade, but mm. it depends on distance. Some, right. some distance, this is not gonna hit, but this hits. Okay, zero. Piece of clean. Okay, so block the first fireball. Okay. This is a reset situation, really. Okay. You can't do anything but block, right. and then you try and do a Lariat. Right. This will happen. Oops. I get free punish. So he has no option but block two fireballs. <laughs> he can't jump. I'm gonna use this instead. Okay, when it comes to. You can actually bait Sangu's EX Palm. Once you space it right, you get oh, free wow. punish. You get a free punish. You wanna use the low f yeah. fears, because you wanna. Right. To get the hurricane. Yes, yes, yes. And. It depends what you want. If you don't want to take the risk after a hurricane, you have to use. You can use any hurricane kick, mm. any version. There's other setups like uh, if you want to zone him more and get more gauge. Mm. This is what you can do. Oh. And then you get a free reset <laughs> right there. But there's also like you can also bait his. The slayer is pretty yeah godlike. You mm. can't never jump in. It's right. gonna hit you. Yeah. So what you want to do? There's a bait. Try try the jump in again. Yeah. People beat. see how bad that, that lariat just destroys. Really. I try to cross up it. Yeah. Doesn't work. All you do is yeah. press, all they do is press a button and yeah, there you go. You can't do anything. It's ridiculous. Oh, even worse. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what you can do is a bait. Okay. You can bait this like that. Nice. You get a free. Uh, I would say free. Uh, yeah. 40 damage. Forty damage. Forty damage. It depends. Sometimes in the corner, if you're lucky. Yeah. You can make a juggle and end ultra. Oh my gosh. So this is a pretty good move for AE since yeah. the hurricane kick is gonna hit full hit. Mm. And where people do a lariat, it, yeah. it looks like you can't do anything. Right. But you can actually punish it. <laughs> yeah, oh. right there like that. The ultra. Yeah. So that's that's geese in a nutshell. Yeah. We got another character to experiment on right here. We got uh, Sagat, Sagat, Sagate, however you want to pronounce the name. <laughs> Sagat. Yeah, but um, yeah, what's a general strategy to defeat this guy? You have to outsole him. Okay, and then, I mean, that's hard to do because this is like he has faster. Yeah. yeah, this is faster. So you have to use your hurricane kick wisely here. So here, you want to use this nice. to get in, okay. which you have to read. Just to get in, just to knock him down, like he's already like near the corner, right? Wow, yeah. So what you want, the strategy is you want Sag in the corner. Once he's in the corner, he doesn't have much choice to get out. Right. Yeah, his only way is probably he's EX Tiger a, Shot right. or some random Tiger Knee. Random uppercut, random jump. Tiger Knee. If he jumps, you're gonna uppercut that shit. Yeah. 
So, but here, you can knock him down by using jab, which stops almost all his options. Yeah, and the trade is not even... It shouldn't even trade when it's time yeah. perfect. So that's the uppercut only yeah. thing you can do right now. But I personally like to use... I like to land damage, so we right. use... Uh, fierce. Oops. Which That's usually a trade in your trade, favor. Trade, or otherwise it's timed perfectly, you get a counter hit. Okay. And after oh. a counter hit, like, that was a counter hit. Yeah. So when Rue does a counter hit with... Standing Fierce. Standing Fierce. He has several things he can do. The sweep. Okay. When you have super, you can do this. Oh, wow. That's a six hit. And that's what you can do when you have Saga in the corner. So you want to fish out that fierce punch. Right, right, right. I mean, after so when they're in the corner, they have to do something to get out. Right. That's basically it. He's going to jump. And then, oh, make make sure you do the low forward against Tiger Knee. Mm -hmm. Make a whiff. You can do it by reaction, which yeah. is not hard. And you start punishing or, yeah, finishing with throw, with the combo. You don't want to jump into him, yeah. but there's sometimes you have to jump just yeah. like any other character just to let them know when you actually jump. Right. Just make them think. But other than that, just, yeah, slow him out and make him the one come yeah. to you. Take the lead, try and get the super and land it whenever you can and nice. turtle or whatever. Here's a matchup. Oh, here's a matchup? Here's a matchup. All right. Ryu versus Honda. All right. Clearly a matchup that's at least 8-2 in your favor. 8-2 in my favor. And if you don't believe it, we're going to find out why right now. But I bought you last night, so... With ease. You didn't even have to work. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and that's because... Um, what are some of the things you look for in this matchup? Um, jump in. That's it. And how is Honda going to get damaged without jumping? He's not going to. He can do it with a standing roundhouse. A standing roundhouse, but Dude, he has to... far! But he has to walk forward. Dude, it hit low. Okay, a standing attack that hits low. That's broken. It's not broken. Look at, look, look at how close he has to be. Remember what you were talking about with fireballs? Dude! Just throw a fireball in it. Look, look at this. <laughs> look, don't do anything. Look at the range. Okay. okay, it should be here. It's not gonna hit you, right? Dude, it's ridiculous. Look at the range. Yeah, but when That's I'm like, this close, you just throw a fireball. I can't react. It's faster than a fireball. Dude, look at a counter hit. You see my fireball coming out, right? Dude, even a trade. But anyways, so we should go back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we should Let's go, go back to the match. match okay. So usually I would I'd make him jump. Yes. Before he has a super. Yeah. Otherwise, I can't even start to so and why are you jumping in? Oh. So yeah, that's the most common thing that yeah. um, Hana does just jumping up with the fierce punch. Right. You should jump with this. So how how do you counter this is? You see them jump, jump and do it. Ronald's kick can beat it clean. Yeah. Basically you run against this character. Yes. Because you're the one chasing me, right? right. So you I'll be running, throwing fireballs, making you jump. Once you jump, I anti-tire that. And yeah, fussies, yeah, the up fussies yeah, in. The crouching medium kick just stops everything I have. Uh yeah, but I have to watch out for the roundhouse kick, but once you're with the roundhouse kick, I can. <laughs> Walk a little bit forward. Ugh, this is so sick. This is this is premium footsies right here. <laughs> yeah, nobody's hitting each other. <laughs> but you can do like jump ins attack. You can bait yeah. that and I do a jump in once you whiff. Right. Yeah, so that'd be Yeah. Because okay, this roundhouse right. stays out there forever. That's a free jump in. Uh, quite a long time, but not yeah. forever. Yeah, uh, just dang near forever. Yeah, pretty much I think the game plan for this is you want to do fireballs from a distance. Yes. Force Honda to but jump. You have to do, the, your, your your longest range is the jump. Um, yeah, fierce. Yes, so I, or, I have to, yeah. I have to know the distance. Yeah, I have to know the distance. It's round. Maybe, I think it's here. Yeah. Fireball. Yeah, exactly. So this is where you don't want to throw a fireball. You have yeah. to throw it almost full screen. Right. That's ridiculous, man. Nah, man. See, look at that. Free yeah. uppercut on every fireball. Because you didn't, you did it by reaction. But anyway. One thing you want to do is once you knock Honda down, is you want to make him lose his charge so he can't do anything. Right, 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 right. So let's see. You just. 
So only thing he has is the yeah, and then, splash. And that's it. That's all I can do is And this is him. how I punish it, too. Yeah. With low fear spy reaction. Uh, or walk. Really? I've never even been punished like that before. After blocking it first and then a low fierce? After blocking, I do combo, man. I can do whatever. And knock me down with whatever you do. And then people are going to do this. Oh, yeah. To punish, right? So this is going to hit. Oh, my the, gosh. Do a just... throw. I think a yeah. command throw is not going to. Yeah. yeah. Do a command throw, then okay. do that. Uh, be in the corner. Yeah. Oh, You're just awesome. mashing it. You weren't even timing it. I don't even time that. Yeah, that beats it. But also, like, you can also dash out of it and land a combo. Oh my gosh. Dash even forward or backward. It's still gonna work. Honda's so terrible. Honda's so good. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Oops, let's get you back in the corner. You can still do it. Oh, whoops. Right. Anywhere, okay. but corner is like the most common position where they use it. They can land combos. I don't want to talk about this matchup anymore. All right, I think we're done. Yeah. Let's get to some more advanced strategies okay. here. Um, you hear the term option select being thrown around all the time. What the heck yeah. is an option select? Uh, it's basically your first option mm. with another option that you actually get to choose. Oh, so it's like rock, gracious. paper, scissor. You have rock and then paper as a backup. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So that's so. So for show me some rock and paper action. So, uh, so let's say when you defending. Okay. So when you know, people are. People love to, you know. Is they either stand tech, right? Which you get the gesture out, or yeah. you do. This, you're still doing the same the, thing. Right, but which you get, like the command you see there, I get the short out. So I can't throw you. Right, so you get the short out. Yeah. But Oops. the range for his short is ass. Right, right, you right, see, right, it's right, just right, right, one cube, and right. doesn't even hit. Yeah. So what you want to do is, you do an option slot. An option slot tech throw. Okay. What you, you're teching, you're pressing the tech at the same time. Right. Instead, you have to do a cross chain, of course. Mm -hmm. Instead, you're press, pressing um, low strong or whichever new normal you want mm -hmm. to come out. So I can do it forward or do this. So it, instead of having this coming out, I'm teching yeah. but having this coming out. So you're pressing three buttons, as you can see, exactly. light, short, and medium punch. Exactly. It works with every character. Mm -hmm. Dawson has it too. You can do it three buttons with the low strong. So that's gonna come out. You can also tech. Press it. So it's either that come up, comes out, or this comes out. You know I never use that, right? Yeah, you don't need to with Honda. Why don't I need to with Honda? Because their jab is three frame. You have the best jab already. Anyways. <laughs> Why is it good? Because let's say it's better range, of course. Right. And it works. It works very well against dive kick characters. Like if you're doing short, he shouldn't stop you nonstop. Right. You're not gonna right. beat his dive kick. But instead, if you use this, mm. I beat him. And you're still teching. Yes, exactly. So. And once if I get a counter hit. Yeah. If I get a counter hit, I can combo and do anything. Yeah. Like, like that. So I get more frame advantage after I Oh, so yeah, I'm mashing it. tech right Exactly. So if I try to throw you right after it, you'll tech it. And if I, I try to it. dive kick again, you'll exactly, hit me. Exactly, exactly. Let's check it out. Before you jump, I already hit you. Yeah. I'll just wait. There we go, okay. There's a text. Now I'm gonna try to... Hmm. Of course it doesn't beat it 100%, right. but it beats it. Right, it's, it's, getting a, it's, beat. a, it's a good option to use. Yes. So we uh, we saw how to you know do option select with tech throws. Yes. Uh, very effective. Um, with Ryu, you know, use that medium punch. That way you can keep people off you. Um, how do you practice the other option selects in training mode? So first you have your main as a mm. as a dummy. Right. No, you have 
Yes, exactly. Have him yeah. as a dummy yeah, have and you, then have re, you know, place have re, myself re, yeah. as Thalsim just okay. to try out all the possibilities. Okay. So for here, I want to record um, Thalsim Big Enough. So first, like I said before, we have... Expect the option slant. You want to dash okay. twice. Okay. So, easy. so right here, that's a jump. So you... All right, I'm going to show it clearly. Okay. So when you do the option slant, so you're doing a jumping attack. Right. But there's no options there, right? Right, that's so just here, regular jump in fierce. So right before it hits, mm -hmm. you have to do, do the command. Right, right before, before it hits. hits. Not too early, not too, not too slow. But here, I already put it the hurricane kick. You can't see it. Okay. So but watch. After it the setup mm -hmm. after setup, you want it blocking. Okay. You want to block that move. So first you want to see okay, this attack hits. Yeah. So options that didn't come out. Right. Gonna check that. So double check that. Okay, so it blocks, right? So, yeah. Okay, nothing comes out. Right. Now you want to try, like, teleport. To get out of there, yeah. Right, just to see. It came out. <laughs> so that's. That worked. The timing was perfect. Oh my god. And gosh. you want to try, like, different possibilities, like. This. It beats it. So okay. you don't want to use this. Right. So you have to. Yeah, it's only rock and paper, right? Yeah, There's right, still right. scissor out, so you have to mm. be guessing. Okay. So let's say backdash. So when he has no meter, mm -hmm. basically Hurricane Kick covers everything right. of his wake up. But okay. Super beats it maybe, so then you test it out. Now attention go everything, right? Yeah. So he beats it, so you okay. don't want to do the Hurricane Kick. And... Yeah, and unless I said before, it... Like every setup, it saves to the next right. character. So right. now I want to test maybe Bison. Another teleport character. Yeah, exactly. You want to test if te all the it works on all the teleport characters, right? Yeah. You have Bison and Ryu. Okay. Now you change anything. All right. you do is just go play back. That's right. Yeah, because don't exit. Right, <laughs> Stay right, in that right, training right. mode and make sure it works. So you have the perfect right. timing, and you test it through the whole cast. Okay. Okay, it works. So okay. You want to back dash? So you can't back dash. Can't back okay. Dash. What about teleport? Mash my life! <laughs> so that works. There's no escape. No escape, so... Unless, you know, try um, some of his escape moves, maybe. That works. Okay. This escapes. So this. What about EX Psycho Crusher? So this oh. beats it too. This beats it too. So the only thing you have to worry about is the Devil Reaper. So what happens with Hestomp? Get out. Okay. So, that so he's got a burn meter to get out. Exactly. Much. Exactly. Mm, so that's good. So what happens with you want to test yeah. Ultra too? Okay. Just to make sure what happens. Yeah. Okay. That didn't come out because yeah, right. What happens is it usually options light doesn't work on Ultra. Right. Because the animation pauses it your pauses options light. It yeah. cuts it out. So that's what happened. Okay. Oh, and not to forget to mention options light works with everything. Throw, dash, yeah. jump, any special move, any normal, even okay. ultra. So let's, for example, here. Um, record? You gotta record a new yes, one? Yes, record. So I wanna do a. I wanna do a jump option flight just to punish his okay. teleport, a full punish. I did it. Okay? No way. First thing you do is block yeah. just to see what's up. Nothing came out. So, okay. Came out. So make sure your options is real. <laughs> oh god. It came out. So I get a free full punish. <laughs> so okay, so then now let me try. I feel like I'm watching David Copperfield right now, <laughs> you know, with, the, with all this stuff is ridiculous. So I can do Came out right, so if I block, nothing happens. <sighs> what? I'm gonna backdash. So let's see. Against Bison, it works if you use like, mm, let's say, option set. Shortcut. I did it. Okay. okay. So 
basically. Once you get meter, you have to mm -hmm. respect the meter, like I said. Mm -hmm. So first block, okay, it's real. Yep. And now here comes the Copperfield shenanigans. <laughs> I did the Death Row Reapers. So it doesn't work. It's gonna beat that. Right. And I get free ultra. A whiff, like you have to punish. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. I'll punish you. Do this. Okay. And you e e side pressure. Oops. It's the battle of the century. Fight. A trade. Good trade. My timing was off, but yeah. if it's clean, then I'm being yeah. clean. So that's how options like works. Most likely, uh, most likely they're gonna do back dash, mm -hmm. but you have to also worry about his flash kick. Yeah, that's what. So I what you want to do is a safe jump option select sweep. So how you do that safe is, oh yeah. my gosh, okay. it's very. Oh, okay. Timing is very strict. So right. this is what you want to do. It's the battle of the century. Fight. I press the option select, and this okay. is also safe jump timing. I don't know if it's off, so you have to check it. Mm -hmm. So first, same thing. Then I tested this. Yeah. A real option set. So nothing, is, nothing should come out. Okay? okay. That's real. All right. So now you want to backdash. You see a sweep is coming. Sweep is coming out. Okay. A sweep came out. So now you test it. It's a safe <laughs> jump. Try to flash. It. So it's not a safe. Not jump. a safe. So timing is not good. So you put. So you do this again. That might work. All right. Good. That was an option. Nah. So that worked, right? Uh, so now you yeah. want to see <laughs> if your option side is still there. Right, right, right. The okay. safe jump is there. Okay, safe jump is there. And the so option select. It covers there. everything right now. Ah, it's 100% safe. The timing is hard. Timing is takes practice. That's why you gotta go right. in training mode. And if you're gonna training use this mode. character and you want to be the best at this, you, know, you gotta to block. have all, all this stuff down. So you can only block. Right. So that's safe jump option slit. So basically, against every character, you want to use safe jump option slit. But right. some characters, you don't have to worry. They don't have a wake up reversal. Right. So you just don't why bother trying to right make the timing hard right, right, for right. yourself. So we've covered the defensive option selects um, with, you know, how to properly tech a throw. Mm -hmm. uh, we covered the jump in option selects. Is there anything else that we're missing? Uh, there's also like options like throw, okay. options like even ultra it works. So here, let me simply just show how options like throw is useful, okay. especially against able. Yeah, because he rolls around all over the right. place. So only thing to stop is to throw. So here you want to record mode. Here, I did the throw already. Okay. It didn't come out, right? Once again, check. Okay, nothing came out. Okay. It's real. So now you test roll. Oh, so this beats it. So good. So you want it. See, it comes out. Uh, so now you want to stop. It stops uh, in the throwing, so cuts down uh, the option. Oh. Now, now you want to do ultra. Which is a little bit harder because they put in input more command. Yeah. But it's not a problem. Alright, I did it. So first block. Make sure it's real. Okay. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Alright guys. That's so cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's not, yeah, it's... It's cheap. It, it's, it's skills. It's skills. Very skills. good, it's very yeah, skillful. Not everybody can do it, right? <laughs> right, I can't. Every character has, has it. Every character has it. You're right, I need to utilize it more. Yeah, you can do Honda, option select, and do Ultra. It's just harder. It works, I think. I can option select into Ocho? Uh, I think so. <laughs> so I don't. I don't use Honda. So I don't know, I only know about right. Ryu. So. Okay. Anyway, right. so. Well, that's sick. There's also um, buffering option select. So what? What is that? So basically, we're looking at like, buffering options. Right. Here. So right when you have your normal out, mm -hmm. right before it disappears, 
you want you input like you buffer the input right so this okay. is what you do so this is like strong right right so i'm doing like oh don't worry so i'm doing okay. like straw and do fireball you see Ooh. i have the fireball command yeah nothing comes out right unless it hits you okay so so i'm gonna buffer a option slot low forward mm -hmm. into hurricane kick okay so basically if i do a hurricane kick it's not gonna come out right. unless it hits right so this is what i do i block and do a rush punch okay comes out. Mm. If you don't do anything, I'm doing the same thing. If you don't do anything, it's not gonna come out. This, this comes out. So let's say I can buffer a super as well. That comes out. And you can also do... Uh, yeah, so it... <laughs> it never comes out. Wow. So now we've dang near covered just about everything there is to know yes. about option selects. Yes. What can you tell me about things such as frame traps in this game? Uh, f there's a lot of, it has different timing yeah. and setups for different characters, but for Rue, you can, his best frame trap would be EX Hurricane Kick. Okay. And it's low strong. Oh yeah, I get hit by that all day. So, for example, against like mashers. Yeah. Both works, but if you don't want to waste a meter like that, yeah, I was, ma comes I was out. mashing right there because I didn't want to get thrown. Yes, yeah, so short comes out because it's invisible. The bottom of the yeah where the leg is, and now if you time your strong low mm. strong perfectly, you get a free frame trap. Plus, you can combo into sweep or whatever you want, and you get build meter instead of wasting one meter. Mm. So that gives you counter yeah. hit. And you get another setup after right. a sweep. Okay. Mash. Yeah. Okay. And I can do it again after each setup. Even as a trade, it's still in my yeah, favor. Yeah, it's still in your favor because you're getting still, the medium punch. Okay, right, right away you can do another one. Mm -hmm. So here you can use option slot medium punch mm -hmm. to tech. This shows okay. how useful this is. For okay. example, I do... Come, got a mash. See? You got a mash. So if you mash with option slot, So now we've covered dang near all this tricky stuff, right? Right. We got option selects galore. We got frame traps galore. What are some pretty cool setups that you got during a match? Uh, these are my personal setups, but okay. I'm here to share to everybody. That's what we want so, to see. So, all right. So you guys already know, like the whole cast, mm -hmm. every character has different wake up time right. after a knockdown. So the setup I'm going to show here right now, it works on only certain characters, and this some like. Ryu, Sakura, Honda, of your course. favorite. Yeah. Everything works on Honda. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> seriously. So, here, so first you do a back throw. Okay. And then you dash forward twice. Okay. And then a uh, roundhouse hurricane kick. Okay, let's okay, see so, what happens. Okay. All right, I'm blocking. Try block. Let's cross this up. Okay. Again. Do it again. So make sure you dash immediately. Yep. Oh, kick. that's so sick. Okay. Tricks. Works with back throw and even forward throw. Forward throw. <laughs> with a short cut. Jab up there. <laughs> Oops. But that's still sick. That works. That's too sick. Okay. So those are setups. Okay. Like, common setups like after a sweep. Right. Cross up into right. super. So you have and that's to roundhouse uh, hurricane kick? Right, you want roundhouse to make it the deepest. Okay. So if you want to do a closer one, like here, roundhouse is not going to hit, right? Right, right? So here you have to use the short one. Mm. You have to adjust all three kicks. Okay. So you have to know the, okay. how to measure. <laughs> so here I use the short because I know how many blocks, yeah. how many cubes. Right, and of course you connect super right after that. Right, right. So you do this. So here I'm gonna show you. So this is just like how the hurricane kick right. works, like right, on ground. So here I'm gonna show some more advanced 
setups. <laughs> More advanced setups, so, if you will. Let's see. Let's use Dalsam. Okay. A sample. All right. I mean, anything against Dalsam would be great because obviously this is like we use Tempest Right. Magic. And this is my. <laughs> it sounds best. like. It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> this, is the best. this is the best. This is the best. So let's see what you. Oh my goodness. So that's a reset. That's how much you get out of it. Oh, it's blocking the whole time. Yep, so. Again. Oh my god. That's, that's a reset sucks. combo. That's from a jump in. So you have to be as close as you want. So if you do it right. like this. That's oh. full hit. That doesn't reset, right? So what oh you want to do is this. So you want to, to get, use stand yeah, strong, to get in stand closer. forward, yes, yeah. to get closer. <laughs> that hits. Oh, so on ground, <laughs> simply, you just do, maybe, once you have a chance to crumple, yeah. you want to do this. That will be a reason. Do that again? Sorry, I wasn't blocking. <laughs> oh. That's how the reset works. That's an air exclusive. Yep, so now... That's the sickest reuse stuff I think I've ever seen in this game. All right, so keep blocking how you block, and okay. I'll show you another setup. Okay. Uh, you can set up anyway. You have to space mm. it really well. So okay. I'll just do back throw. Mm. But that hits. That could have been FADC, huh? Exactly. During this crazy air reset, <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't mind if I dub it that. This air reset, Mid combo, if, if you feel like you're gonna go for that, uh, the reset, then the person should start holding the opposite direction in order to block it, right? Right, that's the only way to get up. Let me see it, I'm gonna try to, and once so you start you the combo, forward. I'm gonna hold it forward, okay. yeah. So that's the way, get up. That's too sick, and that still does good damage. Exactly, and even if you don't have meter, let's right. say you know your character is gonna get, I yeah. mean your opponent is gonna be, yeah. get a stun soon. Right. Just reset the stun. Oh my gosh. It gives you extra stun. This also resets. That's so good. That's, so, That's good. so good. So let's, let's put that stun on. Yeah, the stun is crazy. You mm -hmm. can instantly kill. Also. Oh my So that's only gosh. 20 away for a stun. So simply an overhead, he's done. This setup <laughs> not just works on a lot of character. Okay. I can list some like set. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chung Lee. Uh, you, you said that so evil, meaning like if you landed on Seth, he's dead right. in one combo. <laughs> Chung Lee. Okay. Abel. Okay. Alfarute. Okay. There's more. So make sure you guys <laughs> train him in. So. Yes, exactly. Experiment. See what you can come up with. Bad. Oh my goodness. This only works on Dawson, by the way. Dawson only exclusive. Dawson. Right. That's so sick. All right, well, I can't thank you enough, man, for all the information you provided us. I know there's millions of people out there who are loving this information. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.